All right, let's talk about how I discovered this strategy. I discovered this strategy one day when I applied an eBay concept to my Facebook ad campaigns. See, we all know eBay as the e-commerce giant that started in 1995 as an online auction site. Well, a common strategy in the eBay buying and selling world is to buy locally and then turn around and sell nationally or internationally. This just means that it's easier to buy something at a low price locally because the exposure for that item locally tends to be much smaller than the exposure you can get for that same item when you put it on a national or an international site like Amazon or eBay. This simply means that you can buy things really cheaply locally because these items are just not getting the proper broad exposure and then turn around and sell them for a lot more when you place them on sites that have massive national or even international exposure for that item. So one day as I was thinking about this strategy I realized that Facebook and most pay-per-click ad networks actually is basically run as an auction. It's an auction for clicks. This is true also of Google AdWords, um, Google Ads, Bing Ads, Yahoo Ads, most pay-per-click search engines when you're buying advertising on those search engines they are an auction process. So the clicks are being auctioned off to the highest bidder. So I thought, hmm, what if I ran my Facebook ads only in one city? I'll bet the auction market for Facebook ads in one city is a lot smaller than the market is for the same ad nationally or internationally, right? I imagined that the competition for ad inventory within a city as one of the only targets must be incredibly low since very few people actually run locally focused ads on Facebook, right? So I ran a quick and simple test promoting a grocery coupons offer to just one city and here are some of the results. As you can see the click-through rates are through the roof. Most click-through rates are in the 1 to 2 percent range if you're really lucky. Uh, a lot of people get click-through rates of 0.7 or 0.8 percent. So if you're getting a 2% click-through rate, that's incredible. Look at we're getting 4.7 all the way to 10.769. And notice the cost per click, how incredibly low it is. Uh, most people are lucky, lucky if they're getting cost per clicks of 50 cents or 60 cents or a dollar. Here we're getting clicks as low as 7 cents and 9 cents. And I've even gotten clicks as low as 5 cents. So as you can see, these are incredibly low clicks and combined with incredibly high click-through rates. Like in this example that I'm mentioning, the, the cost per click is only seven cents in this one campaign or in this one ad, but the click-through rate is through the roof for that seven cents. So not only are you getting extremely low cost traffic, you're also getting extremely high conversion. Here's another example in a different campaign. In this campaign, you can see we achieved an 11.102 click-through rate at only an 11 cents cost per click. And some of these other numbers are ex exciting as well, as you can see. As we all know, most Facebook marketers would kill for those super high click-through rates. It's difficult enough to get a 1.5 or even a 2% click-through rate for most Facebook campaigns. And here I was easily getting anywhere from 3.636% all the way to 11.102% click-through rates in one campaign. Let me show you a few more screenshots. Here's a screenshot from my Facebook ads campaign that shows a nine cent cost per click. I enlarged it so you could see it better. And about a 9.4% click-through rate when you figure in the, uh, the percentage of the click-through rate here. And here's an example of some of the cool little messages that Facebook shows me. I get these little messages that say your ad set is performing well. Your ad set's cost per website click of eight cents is less than 90% of similar ad sets on Facebook. Now in these initial test campaigns, I've achieved clicks as low as 5% and click-through rates as high as 20%. Is that amazing or what? Seeing these incredible results got me really excited, and since the grocery coupons offer was doing so amazingly well, I decided to build a consumer email list within this one city. 
The idea was that I could then send that list consumer-based CPA and affiliate offers in the future. And that's where I'm at right now. I'm enjoying these amazing CPCs and CTRs and happily building a massive email list for cheap. And here's an example of the email list. It's at 1,025. Now, now it's at quite a few more subscribers because it's literally growing uh, by the minute. Within just a few weeks, and really just playing around with this, using a very low ad budget, I've built an email list of 1,025 local consumer subscribers, and it's increasing with new subscribers every few minutes. So not only am I getting ridiculously low cost per clicks and incredibly high click-through rates, I'm also building an asset, a consumer email list that I can send additional offers to and make money from for years and years to come. Let me show you a few more screenshots to give you an idea of what's possible. Here are the totals for that same grocery coupons campaign. Okay, so as you can see, the totals for that same grocery coupons campaign, I've averaged a 12 cent click cost, reaching 20,000 people and getting 2,330 clicks at only 12 cents. That's incredible. When we divide the number of website clicks into the reach, which is the total number of impressions, the overall click-through rate on this campaign has been 11.17%. That's pretty amazing. It is amazing, especially when you can get these results with only a 12 cent cost per click. 